Thank you for joining me. I'm Alex and I would like to go over Federal Realty Investment Trust. And in case you're wondering, I'm trying to cover all the dividend aristocrats and uh, exactly what that means I'll cover in a later video. But basically, it's companies that have raised their dividend continuously for over 25 years. So that's pretty much the only reason I'm covering this one because I figured it might be interesting. So what they do is they do commercial real estate and uh, their current price is $127, which gives them a market cap of $9.6 billion. And um, I feel like this is the first problem because if you've been raising your dividend for 25 years continuously, um, your market cap should be a lot higher. So, uh, dividend yield 3.24% with a current payout ratio of 127%. Um, obviously, that's a problem, but it's probably more of a short-term problem than a long-term problem. Revenue is $915 million, which is up 7%. Earnings is $242 million, which is down 20%. In the trailing 12 months, that's back up a little bit, but uh, definitely not to the 289 I think that it was before which gives them a PE ratio of 38 which is the second problem total assets 6.3 billion dollars total liabilities 3.8 billion dollars which gives them a total stockholders equity of 2.3 billion dollars which has been going up which is obviously a good thing so um, to sum that all up I'm not in favor of commercial real estate because I think that the risks are pretty extreme at this point. So we're in an amazing economy right now, and they're still struggling to pay their dividend and do everything that they need to do, which means in the next recession, um, they're probably going to have a very hard time. So... I would say that you should probably be extremely careful with this one because um, I don't think that any of these factors really justifies the risk. So dividend yield of 3.24% is pretty decent, but it's not great. I think that a Ford at nearly 7% is definitely a better buy than this one at 3.24%. So. There's the one thing, um, obviously Ford also has the better balance sheet. Um, I wouldn't know about earnings growth without having to look it up, but still, uh, and a PE that's much more reasonable, like way under 20. So um, to sum that all up, obviously if you're a growth investor, you're just out. Um, if you're a dividend investor, um, I would say you might be able to give this one a go. You just need to be prepared to sell it at some point. So if things turn for the worse, this stock might go down quickly. And that is a risk factor that I think would prohibit anyone from buying it at this point. Obviously, a payout ratio of 127% is unsustainable. They need to get that back under control. And until they do, I really don't think you should invest in this. And uh, for a value investor, kind of the same thing. The balance sheet looks pretty good. The PE is just way too high. And um, the dividend and payout ratio is also just out of control. So um, to sum it all up, I don't think anyone should buy this stock at this point. And that's it. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.